Previously on Balls. Hachi, how's it going? Not bad than you, mate. All right, welcome to Balls Radio. Yeah, thanks very much, Darren. Have we ever chatted to you on this radio station? Never. No, we Never. haven't. You no, have. We've... You Hachi. came to visit us, though. No, you haven't. Okay. No, I haven't. No, you, yeah, you no. were going to a little before, and then we couldn't work it somehow. Okay. Just, before you, just before you opened up. Right. You, were, you were playing golf, Hachi. No, well, not today. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. If you were playing golf in this weather and still shot below your age, then... Uh, then, uh, yeah, I mean, that deserves a state president's award. <laughs> Guaranteed, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to hear your voice. Uh, we obviously hear you all year round with uh, with European tour commentary. Nice to chat to you uh, today on the radio station. And uh, welcome home. No, well, thank you very much, Darren. It's great. And uh, you know, once again, I really enjoyed it overseas. But tell me, how's your little chap doing? Yeah, he's, uh, he's getting there. Another eight weeks to go. And then uh, the, hopefully the tests will all be clear. So. Oh. So we, we're hanging in there. Thanks a lot for asking. Oh, Hachi. Super, yeah. yeah. How do you do it, sir? How do I do what? I mean, how much time do you spend away from home traveling the world and stuff? No, no, well, you know, not as much as, as we used to, but, you know, I was over there for nine weeks now. But, until, you know, I did six, well, I was meant to do six events, but ended up only doing five uh, hmm. with the Czech uh, event being cancelled. But uh, I think my missus, you know, we've been married for 55 years now. Wow. I think the only reason because I've been away for 28. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, I mean, mm. geez, when you look back on your life, I was actually saying a little earlier on, what is your first memory? I mean, uh, you, uh, so they were telling me you are 80 now. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That is, and I mean, you, you, you probably feel like you're 25 still. Well, that's right, you do, but it's the only thing when you hit the driver, you know you're not 25. <laughs> <laughs> what are you firing still on the golf course? No, no, well, I can still beat my age. Every now and again, I shoot around about 74, around about there, 73, 74. That is unbelievable. When there's, when, when there's a bit of run, but of course, it goes for senior teeth. Yeah, but even, I mean, then, are you are you still making greens in two and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. amazing. That is unbelievable mm. stuff. Yeah. Really, really impressed. And uh, a legend of the game here, yeah, a legend of commentary as well. Mm. And... Um, yeah, it's just great to chat to you on, on, on the radio station. I was just saying, what is your earliest me- life memory? Jeez, well, there, there's a question. I, uh, no, well, I don't know. I can still, I still remember you know, being, a, you know, uh, before primary school and watching my sister run and that sort of thing. Can you remember well, the Boer War, Hachi? Oh, no, no, no you're, no, come you're, as, bad as, you're <laughs> as bad as Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke to Dale yesterday, actually. Did you really? This yeah, time? and he was having a salad. <laughs> he was having a salad. Can you believe it? <laughs> well, I can. Probably a whole, what? A whole, a whole field of salad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it was his starter before the burgers arrived. Yeah. <laughs> Hachi, you must tell us that story about how we saw uh, Dale in, a, in the cot. I know. Well, I wrote that. Dive. I haven't heard from the bug, actually. I phoned and spoke to Alison, but he hasn't called me back yet. I wrote that piece. Well, honestly, I can still remember him. You know, when I first came down from Rhodesia way back 1952, and... And then the following day, he was lying in the cot the next year. I think he was born 53, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no, no, he was born 52. 52, was it? Anyway, he was lying in the cot, and I mean, you can't believe. <laughs> Can you believe him lying in a carry cot next year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you actually, that's what you met there when he was like a, an infant? Yeah, he was a baby. Yeah, he was lying in the cot there. He was... And you said if you'd known what how much crap he was going to give you later on in life, you would have strangled oh, well, him right that's there. Exactly, quite right. I would have too. That's about it. But you were good um, friends with his his father, Otway, weren't you? Otway, oh, very much so. Now Otway was a marvellous man. Yeah. yeah, he really was good. All right, and uh, I mean, exciting times coming up golf-wise, uh, Hachi, with the uh, the Ryder Cup around the corner. Um, yeah. Uh, Dale was telling us yesterday, as much as he hates to say it, he thinks uh, the USA are going to have too many guns for the Europeans. Well, I Do you don't agree? know. No, I don't. I don't. I, I think. Uh, you know, I think funny enough that PGA Championship just had with young Rory one, and you know the top four guys were all Europeans. I think has made a bit, bit of a switch. There's no doubt the Americans have got a very, very strong team, and I think they're setting the course up for them. You know, the fairways are fairly wide. It's a big, long track, and the first cut of rough is not so heavy. So, but uh, we've also got some big guns on the European side, and I think it's going to be a very close match. But I, I still think the Europeans might do it. Okay, so Hachi reckons the Europeans. Dale says the uh, yeah. the uh, the Americans. Yeah. And um, I mean, who do, who do you see as the key? Uh, obviously, it comes down to you know which how the, how the captains pick their sides and and, and who yeah. plays against who. But who do you see as the key guys in both sides for for this Ryder Cup? Mm, you know, they're all a whole lot of them are super players. Obviously, you know, young McElroy's a cut above and. Tiger looks like he's getting it back. I don't believe Tiger will ever be what he was before. 
mm-hmm. or have the same effect on players as he has before. But, uh, you know, they, uh, these guys all, and it's going to work down, I, I swear, down into an odd putt here and there. You know, somebody's going to hold the right putt at the right time, and I think the pairings are very important. Mm. That uh, Both captains have got to think very carefully who they put together, you know, both the four balls and foursomes. And, uh, you know, because you've got to put guys in sort of similar game, no good putting a guy who's not the longest hit in the world with a monstrous hit it because their games just don't suit each other. And uh, I, I think that, that's going to be one of the keys, you know, picking the right partners. But and they're all super players. It's going, to be a, it's going to be a great match to watch, and I think very close. And Hachi, your, your thoughts on the developments on the Sunshine Tour with the six co-sanctioned events? Well, look, it's fantastic. I mean, it's amazing when... The, <laughs> I think we've got six. I think we've got more than anywhere else in the world. We do, we do, yeah. Mm. The Aussies only have one. Yeah, I know. It's unbelievable. It's wonderful. Well, that's a long way to go, and then why bother? (laughs) (laughs) Exactly, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I I didn't say I got some good pals from there. Mm. But uh, anyway, what about our cricketers too, Dick? I mean, great job there to so and so. Yeah. And you know, all my pals in Britain, you you just can't talk to them about cricket, rugby, or golf. (laughs) <laughs> it's anything wonderful, else, yeah. Anything else you can talk about, yeah, anyway. Yeah, I suppose they always want to turn it to football, although <laughs> yeah. they, they really haven't achieved much nationally as a football <laughs> side either, so they don't really have much to chirp about. And we were just talking as well, uh, I, I've been sort of maintaining that at some time at the end of the year, uh, there should be like a net bank challenge type tournament, but for our top 12 South Africans, because we've got so many good golfers out there around the world uh, mm-hmm. that I think that would be an unbelievably supported and followed event if we had the top 12 ranked South Africans every year play in a tournament here in South Africa? Well, I, look, I, I think that's an unbelie- unbelievable idea and it's a great idea and we have got the players, there's no oh. question about it. And, uh, you know, and I think what's going to happen now with, you know, playing for a hundred million odd rand that the boys are going to do, I mean, I never saw that in my entire playing career. Mm. But, uh, you know, it can only bring out more because there are more and more guys going and the game's getting tougher and tougher and play getting better and better. But I, I still, I don't know what Dale said, but I still feel they've got to stop the ball going so far. Because the, the gulf now between the professional and the amateur is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And, you know, what makes it hard for the professional, it makes it impossible for the ordinary player. Exactly. And, I mean, that and, I, and I think we've got to, we've got to make it fun still for the ordinary golf. It, it must be a hardship to go out there. Yeah. How do they do that, though, Hachi? I mean, it's, you know, they, it's some, some courses it's almost impossible to make them longer. Yeah, well, it's right, but, but the thing is, they, they've got to pull the ball back. There, there's certain mm. ways about how they make the ball. I know it's a, because, and, and, but it's funny though, you know, that all these, all the, the different things with improvements and equipment and all that sort of, it was meant to help the ordinary golfer. Yeah. Instead, it's done the opposite. It's helped the top golfer get better. You know, hit more and more and more. Yeah. And yeah, in the old days when we were playing, as you know, we were battling to get the ball in the air because of its design, and so that's the way we learned how to swing. And these guys are battling to keep it down. You know, yeah. That's why they drive it so far. And they, clubs are set up stronger anyway but there was talk that they were going to bring uh, they're going to make it standard that uh, the the golf ball has to be um, basic like the old Bellata, uh, yeah ball uh, that obviously never hasn't come into effect are they still going to do that or well, I, I think they, every, they're, they're looking at they, they've got to because it's, you know it's just become ridiculous now mm. you know this young boy McElroy hits the ball you know and he's not the longest I mean but he's pretty close but you know when you're hitting over 500 yard holes with drives and wedges it's you know that's just ridiculous. Yeah. Otherwise, they must just they must just reduce it and make those par fours. Yeah. Well, I know, I know. Except there again, you know, the ordinary guy goes out to play and wants to make a few pars. Yeah. You know, sort of, it's it's ridiculous. And they worked out the average player probably hits the ball two hundred yards. So anything over four hundred yards, you can't get there. Geez, so I'm still above average. <laughs> yeah, well, of course, Bob. <laughs> but you've always been above average. No, not in length, actually. I promise you. <laughs> hey, stop it. That's uh, the direction yeah. that I battle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah. what can you do? Yeah. So, but I'm so, uh, our golf in South Africa. Um, you know, um, and you've been around our golf for so many years. I mean, it has never, ever. Uh, surely, it has never been as strong as it is now. No, there's no doubt about it. Look, we've we've always been lucky. We always had good golfers, but yeah. obviously not anywhere near as many. But uh, at the moment, I think we've got 18 that can play on the European Tour. Mm-hmm. 18 guys, and they're all, you know, really top players. And then we look at the youngsters like Brandon Stone, who's now just gone to Texas, and uh, some of those yeah. amateurs as well. Mm. Uh, young Porteous, Hayden Porteous, and people like that. Yeah. Um, there's, there's, there's more of those to come as well. Oh, plenty. No, no, no. We're very lucky. Look, we've got super courses and, yeah. and normally wonderful weather, and uh, we've got terrific coaches. And uh, uh, the, the prospects for our game in this country are just unbelievable. 
yeah. with, you know, we're getting more and more and really good players. And uh, and the best is they're coming out tougher now. You know, they, they really are. Yeah. And they do believe in themselves. It's fantastic times for uh, for golf. Hachi, it's nice to chat to you. Simon, anything else for Hachi? Yeah, I just want to ask Hachi if you got those photographs back that I borrowed from your house when I came yeah. to do that story on you. Yeah, I, I did. Thanks very much, John. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I made an impression. Uh, yeah, have you got your throat in the right shape yet? Um, yeah, no, I'm almost ready for you. I just need to smoke a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a smoke in seven years. Are you? Two, oh, that's uh, wonderful, actually. Two, two yeah. packs a day, and I should be ready to impersonate you. Oh, really? All right, my boy. Are you going to bring? Are you going to bring a, a book out sometime, actually, or do you, do you have? have I you don't know. They keep dingling me. Maybe we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Nice, yes. well, some there's a lot of stories that might be fun to tell. But yeah, it could be a series of books, a whole lot yeah. of volumes. <laughs> you should just bring out a, a book of your photographs that you have there, actually. I mean, some yeah. of those are amazing. Yeah, I know. Well. Uh, it, it, it's been fun going along the way, and we hope there's a few more years left too. No, we would not put any doubt on that whatsoever. Yeah. Always nice to hear you on uh, on TV, and lovely to chat you on Balls Radio. Hachi, all the best. Enjoy all your right. stay here in South Africa, and we we'll chat to you again sometime soon. Okay, so thanks, Dennis. Dennis. Hachi, Darren, Baba, and to John too. Thanks, all Dennis. Bye. Cheers, bye, man. Bye, 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 bye. Hachi. Well. There we go. Bye. Dennis Hutchinson, the legend, talking to us on Balls Visual Radio this afternoon. <laughs> Balls.co.za Balls.co.za